Uh, welcome to the service dog demo. Uh, this is actually National Assistance Dog Week, so you've picked a good time to, to be here. And National Assistance Dog Week honors the dogs and also the puppies and uh, the puppy raisers in organizations that get these dogs to where they are today to help us. Um, and this is Logan, and my name is Susan. She's an assistance dog um, to help me with multiple sclerosis. And she does a lot of retrieving for me, which is good since she's a golden retriever. Uh, and that's the bulk of her tasks that she does, but she can also um, open doors and close them in drawers, open the refrigerator, get the light switches, get my husband at home if I need him, and get the phone. So we'll demonstrate a few of the things that, that she does for me. Oh, and before I get into specifically her, a little bit more about assistance dogs. Most people are familiar with guide dogs for the blind, um, if anyone is familiar with assistance dogs, but there are also dogs that help people with physical disability. Hearing assistance dogs, which we have one here today that you may see, um, as well as dogs that can help with autism, um, and dogs that can alert to seizures, and it's just amazing what, what the dogs can be trained to do. So um, with that being said, we'll see if Logan feels like getting up and demonstrating what she does. Logan, stand. Good girl. So I do use a cane for short distances, so if I dropped it, she, she can pick that up. Okay, Logan, take it. Good girl. Bring it here. Whoops. Good girl. And she does get paid occasionally because none of us work for free. And she can also at home get the phone. We keep it in one spot so that we don't confuse her too much. But she has her own special phone with a little handle on it. And typically, I don't have her answer the phone, but I have her get it if I haven't taken it next to me when I'm resting. Logan, find the phone. Good girl. Up. Good. Good job. And she also will get the handicap door buttons. And since we don't have a door right here, we'll just pretend that this is one of those switches that you push. Logan, okay, push. That was easy. Push. That was easy. <laughs> that was easy. Good girl. And she can also, I don't need her to do this currently, but we try to practice things that I may need her to do one day. With MS, you don't know what's going to happen with your health. Logan. Oh, she's distracted. Logan! Good girl! Oh, she's going to get her, her leash. Get your leash. Thank you. Tug. Back. Back. Yay! Bring it here. Good girl. Excellent. So those are the type of things that Logan does for me. And um, one thing I'd like to educate you on is m most people actually know not to pet a working service dog or to ask. Sometimes it's okay if, if she's wearing a restful spot. Sometimes it isn't, so I'll just say it's not a good day today. So feel free to ask, but again, if we say it's not a good day. Some people, like hearing dogs and assistance, um, autism assistance dogs here, they usually don't allow to be pet because they always have to be basically on alert to what they need to do. And the other thing is, your dogs can't read, so the do not distract patches also applies to them, so you need to let them know that they can't socialize with working dogs when they are working. And I think that's, that's about it. If, if anyone has any questions. Okay, we're gonna have a, um, a little hearing dog, or talk about a hearing dog next. <laughs> Oh, can I say one more thing? If anyone wants to be a puppy raiser, there are two, at least two organizations here in Maine, NEEDS, which is based in Massachusetts, and Guiding Eyes for the Blind, and they can always use more help so that we have more dogs to help us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank you, Susan. Kristen. Thank you, Logan. You are such a precious little thing. Good job. You did a very good job, honey. Yes, you did. Good girl. 
She's ignoring you. <laughs> you're doing a very good job.